Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Mirai deck from the United States Playing Card Company. Now, what is the Mirai? Uh, the Mirai is a Greek uh, series of goddesses. It's actually three goddesses in one, and they're called the Fates, okay? And sometimes they're called the Sisters. Uh, they're depicted in mythology, of course. Uh, they're in literature, they're in movies. They're usually depicted as three ladies who are uh, weaving this thread. And the thread is the fate of someone's life, and so the Fates uh, govern your life from birth to death and uh, they're responsible for the things that happens to you and that's why we say oh it's fate or you know we'll let the fates decide and they're talking about these three sisters and so this deck is a uh, themed deck uh, centered around those three sisters this deck was a Kickstarter project from Stuart West. It was successfully funded, and this is the deck right here. The front of the tuck case says Mariah, or the Mariah, across the front, and it has a symbol of a two-headed eagle, uh, a symbol uh, for very powerful empires. Down here at the bottom, there's a Roman numeral, and it says card deck, and then each four corner, there's one of the pips from the deck of playing cards. Both sides of the deck say determining the lot of mortals. The bottom has a little bit of ad copy about Stuart West and Bob Case. The top is just ornamentation and you have a custom Mirai tuck seal. The back design of the tuck case is also the back design of the cards. And the two little tongue flaps say design with care from Stuart West. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on their Casino B stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion finish. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. A lot of people always ask me how these cards feel and how they handle. Best thing I can do is put them in a caliper and measure them for you. I can stick them in a caliper and measure them and then compare them against other decks that you've maybe held or owned. This deck, when you stick 10 in a caliper, comes to 2.92. Now 2.92 is definitely a thicker uh, card stock. Definitely puts this into the realm of casino cards. And this is gonna feel uh, similar to uh, old school Tally Hose or the Red Arcane deck from Illusionist, um, the Viridian deck that Legends put out, uh, Laura London knock cards or piff the magic dragons cards from expert the back design is monochromatic and it's entirely comprised of vine work you have both living vines and dead vines intertwined together it does say Mirai on the top and bottom there and then you have a very nice thin border because this was a Kickstarter project one of your cards will be a thank you card to all of the Mirai backers also with this deck, you're gonna get three jokers. Three jokers, which makes a triptych when placed next to each other, and they depict the three sisters of fate. Your ace of spades is adorned with that double-headed eagle, and the text on it says the ace of spades printed in the USA. Your pips and indice cards will all be completely custom, uh, and they will include custom designs, suits, and pips, but, but they will still be perfect for gameplay, magic, and flourishing. Your court cards are one-way court cards, meaning they appear one way, one direction and a different way, a different direction. So uh, they are two headed. So they have two images. Each royalty card is a unique illustration and it shows the control that the Sisters of Fate have over our lives and ultimately it shows our death. All right, so that is my review of the Mirai cards from Stuart West and the United States Playing Card Company. I got my cards from rareplayingcards.com. I want to thank them for providing them for me so that I could do the review for you. And if you're looking for your very favorite cards, you can find them also at rareplayingcards.com. Thanks. Bye. Really hard.